All right, Ahmed, how's the forecast for us? Not a great treat. Not at least for one day. Here's what we got going on outside your window as we kick it off. We're going to dive right on you. There's the numbers. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. It's going to be hot on Thursday. That's the main point here. That, again, we're right back to the heat index of 100 plus degrees. So we've been hot. We're going to get hot again. But that doesn't mean that it's not something you need to take seriously. Anytime we hit a heat index of 100 degrees here in Michigan, it's something that's obviously more rare. So at that point, you cannot cool down on your own. You need the AC to help you. It's stress on your body. This time, we get to talk about something a little different because it's late summer. We talked about this earlier, but you will likely see this. It's trending everywhere online. So I want to at least give you the facts, right? You ever heard the words corn sweat? Well, now nah, you did. Here's the thing. Corn cools itself down by releasing water vapor in the air. All that water vapor's got to go somewhere. How much water are we talking about? Three to 4,000 gallons per acre per day. That's a lot of water. Now, that makes our dew points spike into the 70 degree range. Normally, this happens mid to late July and, of course, going into August. Makes sense. Got mature corn. There's a lot of it. So that can add a little boost. We're not talking about a giant, giant spike, but a couple of degrees that'll push you from the upper 90s into the low 100s for when you're looking at a heat index. That's one of the things we look at for areas in the southwest part of the state and anywhere closer to a larger field. Now, we also look at it for this, a severe weather risk. When you get storms moving over a larger area of corn that's giving off that much heat, it gives it another boost, a shot in the arm. Right now for Thursday night, we have a one out of five risk for severe weather. That may increase as we get closer, and I'll show you why. Uh, next with the future cast here, tomorrow is beautiful. That's great. But going into tomorrow night, right here, cloud cover trying to move in. That shows we've got some moisture to work with, but Thursday night is where storms kick off to the north, tries to sink its way down to the south, and it will. But notice how it's trying to break apart as it does so late Thursday evening. If it does that and slowly breaks apart, that's great news. We get some showers and a couple of regular storms, but not anything severe. Friday, we have another round or two, but we need to monitor where that line sets up. And it all comes down to where do we have the best boundary of heat and humidity. Now, over the next seven, again, Thursday is the next weather alert day because of that risk for the heat and then the chance for storms on the other side. But once we're done with that excess heat, we make it to Monday, still at 90, but at least we're, we're more Phoenix rather than Tampa at that point. Okay, I guess we'll take what we can get when it comes yeah. to that then.